I understand that it's really hard to improve your listening comprehension, especially in the early journey of learning a foreign language. So in this video, I'm going to share 5 easy steps and 3 tips to supercharge your listen comprehension in a foreign language. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jun, and I'm a master's student studying liberal arts and microbiology. And on the side, I like to learn languages such as Japanese, English, Italian, and German. And recently, I started learning Latin as well. I joined the study club, and I'm loving it. To help you understand what I'm talking about in this video, by listening to something, I broadly mean two things. So the first type of listening we are talking about in this video is listening with the visual, like watching a Netflix series, movie, or news. And in this category, I'm going to include a textual aid as well, such as subtitle and a transcript. And I'm going to characterize this listening as level one in this video. And this is what I'm going to spend most of my time on in this video. And the second type of listening is listening without a visual, like listening to a podcast or listening to an audiobook. This might be in the realm of complete auditory experience, and I'm going to call this level two listening. But in this video, we're gonna stick to drilling the level one listening. In order to get to level two listening, level two listening might be hard for most people. I know that everybody has different learning goals in terms of listening comprehension, but I'm gonna be speaking from a general perspective to help you get your listening skill to the complete auditory level, i.e. listening without visual and textual aid. So, let's just jump into it. So we're gonna start with tip number one, which is to take advantage of as much visual and textual aid as possible to improve your listening comprehension. This is greatly helpful with your listening skill, especially in the beginning of your journey. You know, when you're watching something and you can't really understand the language itself, i.e. vocabs and phrases, I think it's perfectly okay to use the scenes as a clue to understand what they mean. And I also think that the importance of subtitles is sort of underestimated. Some people might say, oh, it is not really actual listening because we're just reading the subtitle. I guess I understand what they mean by that, but I think it is still essential, especially in the beginning or even intermediate journey of language learning. In fact, quite occasionally, I saw even the native speakers like to use subtitles when watching a TV show because they got different accents, that kind of stuff. And when I was learning languages, especially Japanese and English, I used to use subtitles quite occasionally and it really helped improve my listening comprehension down the road. So this is one of the reasons why I like to start our listening comprehension exercise with level one listening. Also, it might be more fun to a lot of you because I mean, I like to listen to podcasts, but I think it's more fun to listening to something with like stimulating visual, like watching Netflix movies or Netflix series. And this brings us to step number one, which is to try to watch something without a subtitle. But firstly, we have to pick something to watch. You could pick one of your favorite episodes of your favorite TV series, Amazon Prime, Netflix, ideally 10 to 20 minutes. But if you want it to be shorter, it could be 5 to 10 minutes you know, in the first half or the second half, whatever you prefer. As far as the level of the series is concerned, I will pick something slightly higher than your current level. At this stage, try to understand as much as possible what's going on in the show without a textual aid, i.e. try to rely only on the visual and auditory. But at this stage, I wouldn't worry about taking notes or collecting phrases or vocabs or looking up the words. That is because we have step 2. Which is to watch it again without a subtitle. Yeah, you heard me correctly. So we're basically repeating the first step, but it is going to be much more active listening than the first step. So at this stage, try to focus on what you have missed in the first round. Because in that 5 to 20 minutes, depending on how long you want to watch the series, there is a lot going on. So it is certainly possible for you to miss something. And try to make the most out of the visual aid here for your auditory learning, i.e. using the scenes as a clue for the auditory understanding. And we are moving on to step 3, which is where we finally watch it with a subtitle. Ideally, the subtitle is going to be your target language, but if it's too much for you, you can turn on both your target language and your native language. So this is where you really make the most out of the textual aid. In other words, this is where I would spend the most of my time on the active engagement with the three aspects of the TV series. Visual, auditory, Textual. And at this stage, you could definitely look up the words that are familiar to you 
and take notes. Not only the vocabs, but I would also highly encourage you to collect phrases. Collecting vocabs and phrases is a great way to expand your vocabs and phrases, and I promise that they are going to be useful and practical in many different situations, like when you're talking to people in the real life and when you're doing an interview in your target language. And also, there are a lot of golden phrases and vocabs in the TV series, so I wouldn't miss those. And this brings us to the tip number two, which is to try to synchronize the visual with the language in your brain. When you're watching a series and coming across a new word, there is a facial expression of the character and the situation in the big picture, right? For example, let's say you're learning the word frustration or being frustrated for the first time in the series. What I mean by the synchronization is that try to connect the word frustration and the facial expression of the character like horror something like that, and the situation why he or she got frustrated or something. In this way, the word frustration, which we just came across with the visual and auditory, and the text, which is the subtitle, better ingrained in our memory, because we are now using a couple of different senses to learn this word. It is also because we tend to learn and memorize much better when we connect new things with the existing knowledge in our brain. Although the word frustration is new to us, the facial expression and the feeling itself are existing in our brain. By the way, if you think you're getting some value out of this, I would love it if you hit the like button. Thank you so much. Okay, let's move on to step number four, which is to watch it again without a subtitle. Again. So this is where we sort of test yourself, i.e. you're gonna see how much you can understand compared to when you're watching the show for the first time. You'll be surprised by how much you can understand without a subtitle if you engage in the series in the first three steps, like synchronizing the visual with the auditory and taking notes and collecting phrases and vocabs, although it doesn't have to be 100% understanding. But if you want, you can set your own standard like by how much you could understand compared to when you're watching the show for the first time. Step number five is to passively consume the content as an effortless repetition. After the previous four steps of active listening, if you think you can understand most of what's going on in the series, then we are done with the active listening. We are moving on to the passive consumption. By passive consumption, I mean like multitasking. You can play the show as a nice background audio and do something else like chores or walk. I think this is a great practice to pick up passive listening skills because we don't always engage in active listening. Also, I think it is a great gateway to get to the second relo of the listening, which is listening without textual or visual aid. Because we're just listening to the show in the background without watching or reading a subtitle. Last but not least, let's talk about tip 3. So if you think you can't find a proper show that is slightly above your level, there are many contents produced for non-native speakers. For German, there is like Easy German YouTube channel, and Nico's Bag, which has great contents for each level, A1, B1, B2, A2. And there's also Easy Italian and Easy English. Also, we have DW News for German language learners, which is also designed for each level. So you can totally watch those contents because they tend to be shorter, like three to five minutes as far as I know. And people in those contents tend to speak a little bit slower. So that helps a lot. Alright, those were the steps and tips to improve your listening comprehension. If you think you got some value out of this video, please hit the like button to support this channel. And consider subscribing because I'll be making more videos like this, you know, sharing tips to improve your language skill and sharing my journey for language learning. So question of the day, what do you like to watch or listen to in a foreign language to improve your listening skill? Do you like to listen to a podcast or audiobook? or do you still like to watch a Netflix or Amazon Prime series? Please leave it down in the comment section below if you feel like it to help each other out. If you think you want to focus more on your speaking skill than listening skill, you might want to check out this video over here, which is where I talk about how to improve your speaking skill alone. And I prepared another video over here where I share my own tips to overcome the fears of speaking a foreign language. Thank you so much for watching again, and I hope to see you on the other side. Bye-bye.